Wow, man. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. <laughs> what a freaking win. And then I was like a, a little bit of a nail biter right then. I was like, oh my God, is this, is Lamar Jackson really going to run in for a touchdown? But I guess he threw it and I don't know. I, I was, I thought I was like, don't get our hopes up. Do not blue ball us again, please. But I'm, I'm surprised. Now don't get me wrong. There's, there's still a lot of things, you know, bad thing, not bad, but there's still a lot of things that we could bring up to criticize or whatever. But I want to take a moment because I I predicted we would lose, as many a lot of other people did. Pretty much no one. I mean, there was I think there was a few people maybe, but most people predicted the Ravens to win this game. Okay, we were the complete underdogs going into it, going into their home opener. They they didn't lose. I forgot what their streak was for not losing a home opener. They haven't lost it in years. We've been we've been performing horribly on the road like the last. I think if they said seven or eight games that we've been doing kind of crappy on the road, and we freaking did it. We did it as a team. We did it. You know, like people came through when they needed to, but there were also um, some misplays. So let's, all right, so let's break it down quarter by quarter. So, okay, first quarter, I think this is like the first drive. Colton Miller lets a defender get through again, and then Minshew gets sacked. So I'm like, oh God. So, and that's one thing I've kind of noticed, and someone brought this up in the last video, and I didn't really see it, honestly, too much in the charges, unless I wasn't just watching as closely, but. I am definitely noticed. I noticed it a lot more in this game with the O-line issues that are going on. Particularly, I mean, I guess both sides, but I feel like it's more the left side. Like, I feel like it's more like Colton Miller or something. Like, I think it's honestly more Colton Miller, to be honest, because most of the times whenever I've seen Minshew getting sacked, it's him letting someone through. So, and then the Ravens kick a field goal in the third quarter. Minshew got sacked again. And then, okay, so we're going to the second quarter. Now, some people actually kind of criticize this pick. Some people are like, why did we draft a tie in after we just got Michael Mayer? We don't need Brock Bowers. We don't need him. Like, why did we get him up? And in my opinion, this game showed exactly why we drafted Bo Brock Bowers. Now, even like for a tight I don't want to have his height in front of me. He's actually a little bit shorter than a tight end. Like, most other tight ends are like kind of taller than him. But he just has like unique things. Like, there was two great catches in the second quarter that he had. And I thought, what, what was it? No, it was, it was in the third quarter. I was going to say my favorite catch is when he catches it and like literally spins his way into the goal line. Like, he, like Bowser, <laughs> I forgot what video game it was, but Bowser, like there's an attack where he like spins his fists around. It's like he's brought, I mean, obviously cause his name sounds like Bowser, but it's like, it's Brock Bowser. That's what we should call him Brock Bowser. But anyway, he was a real big component in this game. Don't, don't get me wrong. Devontae Adams was too, obviously. He had a touchdown catch. He had some big catches too. But I also want to give a little bit of credit to Brock Bowers. He did. He had some big catches in the second quarter, in the third quarter, and I even think in the fourth quarter to really keep drives going and to really keep us going down the field. So I think he deserves some credit. Raider kicks a field goal, and then Gardner Minshew throws an interception. He threw it. I think he threw it too. He wasn't. I think he threw it too low from what I remember. I, I don't have it in front of me. I think he threw it too low. Defender caught it, and it was an interception. So still not as bad. I mean, we kept we only had one turnover, right? So we went from three to one. But I would say still it kind of seems he needs to really watch that going forward and not turning it over as much. And basically, like, the first half was just field goals. I don't think either team scored a touchdown in the first half at all. So then we go to the third quarter right off the bat. Lamar Jackson throws a touchdown. I was like, oh, crap, here we go. Uh, this Then there was a 25-yard catch from Brock Bowers. And the Raiders actually go for it on fourth and two, which I was happy with, even though we didn't get it. But I still like that we actually went for it on fourth and two. And I feel like that our game management was much better. Um, I feel like Antonio Pierce managed the game much better uh, in this game than he did against the Chargers. And, okay, so this is the one. This is my favorite catch of the game, probably. Well, ah, Devontae Adams had a good one, too. No, he had two good sideline ones, but when Brock Bowers catches that 27-yard catch, and he literally spins his way <laughs> into the goal line, <laughs> like the like the defender's like holding on him, and he's just like, no, no, I gotta go. <laughs> and then that leads to um, a touchdown by Madison. Fourth quarter, Ravens get another touchdown. Uh, this is the first sideline catch from Devontae Adams. Some people can, didn't consider a catch. Harbaugh tried to challenge it, but he was proven wrong because Devontae Adams was in bounds. Oh my god, I didn't even mention this. Okay, so so Splain gets an interception in the third quarter. 
which was huge, which is what led to the Madison touchdown and Brock Bowers getting that catch. And then, okay, so then in this case, so Pierce decides to kick the field goal, which at first I was like, why are you kicking the field goal? You're behind by two. So I guess now I see why he did that. But at first I was like, why the hell are you doing that? Just go for the touchdown. But obviously it worked out in the end. Splane again comes through. He bats down Jackson's pass, which, you know, then we get the ball back. Devontae Adams gets another big sideline catch. Minshew gets sacked again. He got sacked like four times this game. And then, okay, so this is the funny thing I, th I saw. So in the, we're kind of in the end zone. Minshew throws it. Devontae Adams is, is caught up with Brandon Stevens, and then they call pass interference. And then I noticed, I don't know if, I think I hear, I don't know, it might not show in the highlights later on, but in the live broadcasting, you can hear the Ravens fans going, bullshit, bullshit. And I'm, and I'm like, how can you say it's bullshit when you, literally when they slowed it down, they watched it. Brandon Stevens was literally hugging Devontae Adams. His arms were literally around both sides, and he, Devontae Adams had no chance to catch that ball. So it's like, how can you say it's not pass interference when the dude is, like, fucking hugging him, like, on Titanic and shit, but you're saying it's not a pass interference, okay? So then after that, you know, they get more yardage because of the penalty. Minshew throws to Devontae Adams for the touchdown. Then on the drive, in the Ravens drive after that, Max Crosby gets a big sack on Jackson. And then Carlson kicks the field goal to win, and then they try their weird little play, and then it gets stopped in the end, so... That's what happened with the game, man. And it was a lot of up and downs. The first half of the game, I was like, is this game just going to be all field goals? And then the second half, um, we turned things up a bit. Now, there is a couple of glaring issues, okay? Okay? Obviously, glaring one, like I said before, O-line. Like I said, someone originally commented that, and then like I tried, to, I tried to watch it a little more in this game, and I definitely can see what they were talking about. Turnovers. One turnover isn't too bad, but you really don't want to get a turnover at all. If you can get none, that'd be great, obviously. Surprisingly, we won the time of possession even though we weren't running as much. And that's another issue I think that I... Not that I have. Another issue I want to bring up is that... I don't... Uh, Zermir White, he's not horrible, okay? But he's not great either, honestly, in my opinion. I, I mean, maybe I have to see a little more from him. But from what I've seen, he's kind of more just like, eh, okay... So maybe like try to, I don't know, maybe they try to trade it off, like try to get Madison in there more. I think we also have Ab Abdullah too. So maybe like try to try to mix it in with, with them more somehow, like try to give them the ball more because we can't go into future games not not rushing it. Because there, there's, there's one drive, we didn't even run it at all, the whole drive. And yes, it got us down the field, it got us a touchdown. But for games in the future, we can't expect to do that going forward, right? Like we need to be able to have as many options as we can, running or passing, in order to be able to go down the field and score points. Overall, I mean, despite like those things like I brought up, I'm I'm pr I'm pretty happy with this win. I'm pretty happy with this win. I was not expecting it. Many people weren't expecting it, but I'm glad that we went out there and and kind of ruined their home opener for them. Now I think next week we're at home, if I have it right. I think we're at home next week, and we are facing the most dangerous team in the NFL. Okay, I'm telling you, these guys, these guys make the Chiefs look like cheerleaders. I'm not kidding you. We are playing the Carolina Panthers. Now watch, I say that, I talk shit like that, and then we're going to get our asses kicked by them next week. <laughs> no, but, but seriously, if we can beat the Ravens, we can beat the Panthers. Come on. Come on. Do not lose to the Panthers, I swear to God. Do not lose to the Panthers. I think, yeah, like I said, I think that's the home opener, too. Do not lose to the Panthers. Please don't do that. Um, the Panthers, I know they have a couple good receivers, but, I mean, uh, Bryce Young, their quarterback, he doesn't look too amazing, to be honest. But, I don't know, hopefully he doesn't light us up, which I don't think he will. Oh, and that's another thing. Our defense played great once again, I think. Um, they did get a little more tired. There were some, you know, big, there were sometimes Jackson threw some big ass chunk yards, but overall, I'm pretty, I'm look, I'm happy with our defense as how it's performing so far in the season. I just, I just want our offense to kind of play like it did, but do a little bit more rushing, have better pass protection, have better, you know, win the battle of the trenches a little more in the O line. And I think that, you know, I don't think playoffs, but I think we can have a pretty decent record. But anyway, back to the Panthers. I think we're going to win. I think we will win. And I swear to God, you better win. <laughs> but uh, anyway, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this recap. I definitely enjoyed this game. Beating the Ravens, which is very nice. And so now we're what? We're one and one. I think we're third. Well, depending on if the Broncos want to lose. But right now we're looking at third place right now in the AFC West. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.